Hi friends, welcome to this third video on group theory. The first two videos gave you the basic introduction to group theory and the properties related with group theory. This third video will deal with problems which can be applied to check whether a given non-empty set is going to be a group or not with respect to the binary operation defined. Come on, let's get started. Problem number one, we will be asked to show that the set of all integers is grouped with respect to addition. So what we are having over here, G is going to be the set of integers Z that going to consist of the elements of the kind 0 plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 plus or minus 3 and so on. This is going to be an infinite set. So it is going to have elements that are not going to end. So it is not possible for us to pick each and every element from over here and then do the binary operation. So whenever an infinite set is given, we will have to prove the quantity with respect to a general format, which means for any elements A, B, C that belong to the set of integers, the property has to hold true and not for one particular case alone. So, Keep in mind that avoid using examples to prove quantities of such kind. Now the binary operation which has been defined to us is going to be addition. So the star now becomes plus. Now to show that it is a group, I need to show that closure, associative, existence of identity and inverse are going to be true. Now what do we mean by closure? Closure is that when I pick any two elements a and b, that belong to the set of integers. I know that the operation of addition a plus b will again give me an integer. Therefore, I show that the closure law is going to be true. So next is the associative law. What do we mean by associative law? For any three elements a, b, c that belongs to the set of integers, I know that if I am going to add a plus b and then with that of c this is the same as a plus b addition added to c so this holds true for all the elements a b c that is belonging to the set of integers therefore we show that associative law is also true the third one is the existence of identity what do we mean by identity any element e that belongs to the set and it's satisfying the property that for any element a, you have a binary operation e to be the same as e binary operation a to give you back the original element a. An element that acts like a mirror is what we call it as identity element. Now which element has that property in the set of integers? I know that for any element a belonging to z, there is going to be an element 0 that also belongs to z which acts in such a way that a plus 0 is the same as 0 plus a which is going to give me back my a. So you know that the addition has identity element as 0 to be defined on the set of integers. So I know that identity element exists. Next existence of inverse. What do we mean by inverse? An element of the format a to the power of minus 1 when acted upon with a the binary operation is the same as a inverse acted upon a gives you back your identity element. So if I am able to show that existence of this element for every element a belonging to your set of integers then I can show that inverse exists. Now I know that any element a along with some quantity over here has to give me a 0 which is this element over here and now I know that minus a is such a kind of element. So for every a which is going to belong to the set of integers that is going to be a minus a that also belongs to the integers such that we have a plus of minus a is the same as minus a plus of a will give me back my identity element 0. 
So now we have showed that inverse also exists. Hence, the four properties over here are covered for and hence we declare that the set of all integers is going to form a group with respect to the operation of addition. This let us move on to second problem. Show that the set of all positive rational numbers form an abelian group under the composition star defined by a star b equal to a b divided by 2. Now what we have as the non-empty set g over here. Our g is going to be rational numbers and particularly positive rational numbers which is denoted as q plus. The elements of my q plus are of the format p divided by q where this p and q are picked from the set of integers and such a way that the denominator q is not equal to 0. So this is going to be q plus so I make sure that my p and q also belong to z plus the positive integers. So this is going to be my non-empty set and what is the binary operation star we have defined? I have defined this a star b as product ab divided by 2. I know that this is going to be a rational number of the format p by q and hence it is going to be true for. So now to show that it is an abelian group and again the set of uh, rationals is going to be infinite in nature. So you cannot take examples and prove, you will have to prove it in a generic way. You will have to show that closure law, associative law, existence of identity, existence of inverse in addition, commutative law to be true to show that it is an abelian group. So we will begin with the first one called as closure. So to show for closure, I pick any two elements a and b that belong to the set of positive integers, sorry, the positive rationals. In which case, when I do the binary operation a star b, I define it as a b divided by 2. This is again of the format p divided by q. Therefore, it belongs to the set of your q plus. So, if it is of the format p by q, obviously it belongs to the set of rationals and in particularly we are taking positive rationals. Now closure law is going to be true. What is going to be associative law for any three elements a, b and c that belongs to the set of positive rationals, I need to show that a star b star c is the same as a star b star c. Now let us begin with the left hand side. What is going to be the left hand side? A star, B star, C. Now consider this B star C. Apply the binary operation over here. So what will this B star give me? It is nothing but BC divided by 2. This binary operation takes the product and divides by 2. Now when I do the binary operation with the first element A, what happens over here? It takes the product of the first element with that of the second element and divides it by 2. So we have this to be equal to a b c divided by this 2 comes to the bottom and makes it as 4. Now let us move to the RHS. How about this RHS? Let me compute this a star b first and then do the binary operation with c. This a star b now gives me a b by 2 and now when I do the binary operation with the third element called as c, it is the first element a b by 2 product with the second element b divided by 2. Hence this gives me a b c divided by this 2 comes over there in the denominator making it as 4. Now I know that my LHS is going to be the same as my RHS and hence what has been shown prove associative law is going to be true. Next comes the existence of identity element. What do we mean by identity element? An element that acts like a mirror and reflects the element which has been taken for. So you will have to get your A back when you do the binary operation. Now if A and E be the identity element, so I need to find what is this E for my Q plus. Now what is the binary operation over here? I know that it is going to be AB by 2, so it is going to be AE divided by 2. This AE divided by 2 will give me back my A. So I know that since it is going to be A and B are integers, E 
is nothing but equal to 2. So which elements acts as an identity element? The element identity element for my q plus is going to be 2. But is this 2 a rational number? Yes, obviously. A 2 can be written as 2 divided by 1 which is again of the format p by q and hence belong to the set of positive rationals. Next, I have proved that identity element exists. Coming back to inverse, how about my inverse? When I want to check for inverse, I need to find an element A inverse such that A star A inverse is the same as A inverse star A gives me back my identity. Now, let me have an element of that sort that gives me back my identity. What is my identity? It has to give me my 2. And this binary operation is nothing but A, A inverse divided by 2 by the definition of the operation. And this has to give me my 2. So, what is this inverse A inverse? Cross multiply it to the opposite side. So, 2 2s are 4 divided by A. So, for every element A, 4 by A will act as its inverse. So, this 4 by A is again of the format P by Q and it belongs to the set of Q plus. So, inverse element exists. And last, I have to show that commutative law is going to be true. What do you mean by commutative law? Commutative law is one which shows that A star B is the same as B star A. What do we know from A star B from the binary operation? It is AB divided by 2. This is going to be a mere product of positive integers and same as your BA by 2. In which case I can rewrite this as B star A. And so, I now have shown that A star B is the same as my B star A, hence commutative law is also going to be true. So, we have identity to be true, inverse true, commutative law to be true, you have your associative law to be true and your closure law also to be true. And hence, you show that it is going to form an abelian group under the binary operation star uh, for the set of positive rational numbers. Next, we will take the problem on show that the set of all non-zero real numbers is going to form a group with respect to the operation of multiplication. What do we mean by non-zero real numbers? A real number is of the format R but a non-zero real number is going to be the collection of it from where your zero is going to be excluded. So you can write this as R minus the singleton element called as zero. So the set of all real numbers exclusive of zero is going to be our set called as G. And what is going to be the operation? I know that multiplication is going to be our binary operation. I need to show that it is a group for which I will have to show that closure, associative, identity and inverse are going to be true. Let us begin with closure. So when it comes to closure, when I pick two elements A and B that belong to the set of real numbers, I know that A product B also belong to the set of real numbers. In which case A and B are not going to be zeros because we are picking it from R minus 0. So this also belongs to R minus 0, hence closure is going to be true. Next comes the associative law which says that whenever I have three elements A, B and C that belongs to your set of real numbers minus this 0, what happens? I know that A into B into C is the same as A into B into C. So this holds true. So associative law is going to be true. Now coming to the identity element. Identity element. How about this identity element? An element of the format A star E is the same as E star A returns you back your A acting like a mirror is called as the identity element. Which element can do this action? I know that the element 1 that belongs to the set of your real numbers exclusive of 0 can be in such a way that any element multiplied by 1 is the same as 1 multiplied by any element can reflect you back the same element. Therefore, 1 
is going to be an identity element for the set of the real numbers, my non-zero real numbers with multiplication as its binary operation. And now coming to the last part, which is going to be existence of inverse. So when I want to show that inverse exists for the element, what will be the nature of this inverse? An element of the type E inverse, where you do the binary operation, you get back your identity element, in which case this inverse is going to be called as the A inverse of the particular element A. Now I have the element A and this on multiplied with a particular element has to give me back my E. What is my E? E is going to be my 1. So what do you think can return you back your 1? Yes, you are right. The element of the form 1 divided by A will give you back your 1. And we know that for every A, this 1 by A also belongs to the set of real numbers exclusive of 0. Here A must not be equal to 0. If it is B0, then it will move towards infinity. That's why we have included this condition over here. So I can find an element 1 by A that belongs to the set of all non-zero real numbers which can act in a way that a star a inverse is the same as a inverse star a is going to give me back my one therefore i am able to find an inverse for every element therefore inverse exists hence what we have proved over here i have proved the closure law is going to be true the associative law is going to be true the identity element one exists over here and the inverse element is going to be 1 by a for every element a present over there. So since all the four properties hold true, we hence declare that the set of all non-zero real numbers is forming a group with respect to multiplication as the operation. I hope these three examples can give you one clear idea about how to solve problems on a group and abelian group. We will continue with further more examples to give an explanatory way of the extension of problems on group. Keep awaiting. Happy learning. Keep learning.